guys, welcome back to the Independent Investor Channel. We're gonna drop you into the M1 Finance account. If you enjoy single stock investing, as I do, you're gonna to wanna to stick around for this video. This has 97 stocks in the portfolio. It's almost like a 97 stock uh, portfolio or stock pick video that I turn out of the 97 of the best companies that I feel are even available on the, uh, in the world to invest in. These are dividend paying stocks that I own passively in M1 Finance. I get paid daily dividends, man. I get 400 dividends a year with this portfolio. I share it openly. It's gonna be in the comments section of this video. I'd encourage you to kick over there, check it out. If nothing else, man, you get some ideas about where my mind is, my money is in this. I've got just over $30,000 in this account. It's a wonderful way of investing. It's a wonderful way of seeking out dividend growth exposure coupled with the power of M1 Finance, guys. We're gonna kick you in and we're gonna check out the portfolio right now. And a lot of people pursue wealth building and a lot for a lot of different reasons. I pursue it for one reason and one reason only, and that's to make money, okay? Um, I think it's exciting. Um, I think it is possible. Uh, I think a lot of people pursue um, excitement in the stock market only to get burned and then it's not fun anymore, okay? Um, this portfolio is a dividend growth portfolio, and this is exciting. This is fun. Um, this is comprised of uh, just over 90 uh, stock holdings, okay? So um, this is not ETF. This is not index. This is not mutual fund. These are single stocks in this comprised of around, I think, 93 or so. We can check that when we get to the, um, the investment piece to this. But I just want to stress to everybody out there, while everybody else is trying to identify that basket of 10 or 20 stocks that are going to work for them, um, this basket of 93 of the best companies that I feel exist on the earth um, can uh, be utilized by anyone out there. Um, these companies are not secrets. Um, they are the best companies out there, and they have been the ones that have been tried and true to provide and pay back shareholders over, over the long term. And this portfolio only uh, represents that fact. Now there is no uh, uh, um, promise of return into the future. However, when we look at the past performance of these equities, there is no denying the power of investing in this way. And over the short term, it has grown and it has digressed with the market sell-off. Um, so we're in a little bit of a consolidation phase here, uh, as indicated by this small uh, little leap uh, dive off the high dive here, um, but it's come back a little bit over the last month or so as the market has been trying to find its footing. But total inflows into the portfolio just shy of, uh, or just north of 24000 We've got just over $31,381 in this dividend growth portfolio. This is a fabulous way of investing. So basically what happens in this is about every morning I wake up and I have new dividends. Okay. Now let's take a look here. We've just got over 1,100 in dividends. Now mind you, I have not had this portfolio, uh, but just around, what is that, two, two and a half years or so. So very, very impressive with uh, 8,300 of total gains, uh, 7,200 of those have come by uh, capital appreciation in the market. Uh, that's accounting for this last sell-off in the market as well. Uh, and then uh, earned dividends to boot to throw onto this. So we'll take a look at where those dividends are coming from. Financial staples and technologies lead the way. I'm kind of surprised at that. Um, I hadn't checked it before I shot. Uh, but technology here um, is leading the way because I built this with a little bit more of an emphasis on dividends. So I would have left out uh, companies like uh, Apple and Microsoft, and I would have opted for companies like Cisco and IBM and the like here in this. So that's why um, this technology, but these dividends are, are impressive. And these, these add up just a few bucks a, a pop. But when you're getting paid these dividends on 95 uh, holdings, and you're getting paid uh, on most of these quarterly, um, it really adds up to around 400 dividend payments per year. Now, if you, I want you to think about that for a second. If you sit back and you say, gosh, Ryan just talked about establishing a portfolio that pays me when I'm doing other things. Um, I do not jockey with this portfolio. 
Um, I did just take a big liquidation in energy uh, and I added in one particular name in energy, but for the most part, this portfolio does not incur a lot of churn. In other words, I invest in this and I forget it. It's very, very simple. And um, the renderings are, um, they are undeniable. This is a great way of investing. Now we are subject to single stock equity in this, but I want to talk a little bit about the breakdown in this portfolio here. Healthcare leads the way. Healthcare has been the outperformer. Nobody's talked about it. This ensures that I have access to not only healthcare if it decides to go bananas, which it has, uh, as well as energy, which has gone bananas as well, and some of the other sectors that are kind of rolled off here. We're down big in materials. Materials is down around 30%. I expect that to turn around. And the cool thing about it is M1 Finance will continue to fund these low sectors um, until they turn around and basically ensure that I'm catching the bottom in new fundings that flow into this. Um, my target allocation here is indicative by the uh, top and bottom line. So the actual dollars held represent 14.6 in healthcare. Uh, and my target allocation is 12%, which basically impacts new fundings that would flow into this would not go to this healthcare sector as it's overweight, rather go into this underweight sector uh, like telecom, real estate, uh, and materials respectively. So um, this is the coolest part where I go over the actual holdings in the portfolio. You're going to see um, some red here uh, in some of the holdings. There's 97 positions in the portfolio uh, as, at the time of filming this video, but I always take a scroll through quickly so people can get kind of a 97 stock pick video under 10 minutes, and it's actually kind of special because you get to see how the stock has performed. I'm not just recommending stocks that I feel or have an instinct about me that are going to go up or down. Um, these are the stocks that I really feel like are, are wonderful long-term holds. And these are the ones that I want to start the dividend depreciation on. In other words, when these pay, even as little as they do pay, it starts the snowball effect uh, in building these, these companies. See, I, I can hold Intel here uh, just on, you know, 13.69 shares of the company. I'm down a $200 bill. It's no problem. I'll continue to own this over the long term, and it will in time turn around. Um, Thermo Fisher Scientific, CVS. We go through here, and you're going to see a little bit more red, I think, in these holdings uh, than you would normally see in um, in a bull market or an up market. I did these before, and I've had less than 10 um, out of these. So the market is fluctuating, and it's it's um, really sifting out right now, and it's it's settling. It's taking into account the effects of high inflation. It's no problem. I'm not going to sell my equities you know, to, to, to gain more cash as cash is losing value right now. That's absurd. These equities right here pay me to own them. So it makes total sense. Look at Enbridge right there up 12%. That's a company that I just added into, um, into energy. So that's really nice. Some of these great companies like Medtronic, uh, Starbucks down 20%. Don't worry a bit about that. Um, uh, APD products, one of the best materials holdings you can have out there. So a spackling of some green and some red, but uh, for the most part, the longer you hold these equities, the more they'll end up paying you back and we can get these um, up above um, their, their nominal purchase price um, as we look to recover. And in the meantime, we're going to continue to fund these equities over time. So Royal Bank of Canada, the banks have rolled off a little bit in Canada. They were up for a while helping to drive the portfolio forward. There's Northrop Grumman, they're up 50% um, as we are in a time of geopolitical conflict now um, on the worldwide stage. But uh, look at that streak of green right there. Boom, 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 streak of green. This is Wealth Building 101, guys. If you kind of understand a little bit of method to my madness, there's Sonofi, there's, uh, that's a good one. Um, just added to the portfolio. Um, I've added the, the real estate REIT section. Um, which has really rolled off. It has not done well since I've added. That's totally fine. I wanted to own the sector, and I did. I added it into there. There's a nice streak of red right there on the screen for you. All good companies uh, just need to find its footing in this, what has been really, really rough stock market. There's there's no doubt about that, but uh, <coughs> we will continue to own for the long term. And uh, 
Look to continue to periodically update you on this portfolio uh, as it as it grows and as it materializes. And uh, on to 50 grand. Guys, we'll kick you back and we'll conclude the video. All right, guys, we've come out of the dividend growth portfolio. Awesome way of investing. Awesome way of using the power of M1 to passively invest in, in the stock market. I fund this account fairly regularly, so the dollars are flowing in here. This is surplus capital that I do not need, so I flow it into this account. I get far better rates of return out of this account with the capital appreciation that I disclosed in the video, as well as the dividends to boot. I get 3.02 of an aggregate dividend over this portfolio, which is better than the S&P, a whole point better than the S&P, I might add. And it's a great way of investing in the stock market, uh, a single stock specifically. Uh, and uh, it performs quite well. Um, it's like a 400 additional paychecks for me every single year. I've done very little to nothing in this portfolio to manage it. Uh, it does nothing but sit back and pay me money. It's working for me while I'm working for my money, which I would absolutely encourage anybody out there to identify the power of that very strategy. I share it openly. Take advantage. Guys, leave your comments at the bottom of the video. Hit the thumbs up and the notification bell if you want uh, uh, future uh, uploads to be notified of you. Uh, I upload very frequently. Make sure and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this transparency and my sharing of my investment journey with you guys. Appreciate you tuning in for the totality of this video and good luck in your investment future.